Thankfully, no giant boulders, evil spies, or snakes were plaguing Harrison Ford on Tuesday. Instead, Harrison, 80, had to figure out if he would go with the double-breasted suit or just the single. Harrison and his daughter, Georgia Ford, were out and about in West Hollywood on May 9. The star of the upcoming Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny had his daughter, 32, help him out when picking out suits likely to wear at the premieres of the fifth and final Indiana Jones film. Harrison dressed casually for this shopping trip. He tucked his button-up shirt into his jeans, which he belted with a black leather belt. He opted for a pair of comfortable shoes. Georgia also dressed for comfort, choosing some flats with her pants, white top, and black blazer. Harrison's daughter tucked her hair back with the help of a purple bandana covered with white polka dots. Georgia is the daughter of Harrison and his late wife, screenwriter Melissa Matheson. She's best known for writing the screenplays for E.T. the Extraterrestrial, The Black Stallion, and a segment in 1983's Twilight Zone. The movie. That year, she and Harrison tied the knot. They welcomed a son, Malcolm Ford, in 1987. Three years later, Melissa gave birth to Georgia. Sadly, the marriage didn't last, as Melissa and Harrison finalized their divorce in 2004. Melissa passed away in 2015 after a battle with neuroendocrine cancer. Harrison has gone on to marry Callista Flockhart. The two welcomed a son, Liam, in 2011 and tied the knot in 2010. While Harrison has kept his personal life mostly away from the public, he spoke about his daughter's battles with epilepsy in 2016. While attending the NYU Longoni Medical Center's Find a Cure for Epilepsy and Seizures, A.K.A. Faces, event, he said his daughter had the condition. She is joining me to thank Faces. I admire a lot of things about her. I admire her perseverance, her talent, her strength. She's my hero. I love her, he told the New York Daily News. Harrison said that Longoni's Dr. Oren Devinsky and Faces have been a great service to my family. I am grateful for that. So I'm happy to be here. When you have a loved one who suffers from this disease, it can be devastating, he added. You know how it affects their lives, their future, their opportunities, and you want desperately to find mitigation. You want to find a way that they can live a comfortable and effective life. While giving a speech during the event, Harrison revealed his daughter had her first seizure when she was a child at a sleepover. A few years later, she had another big one, this one on a beach in Malibu, where a Hollywood director found her, luckily, he said. I said to myself this is Los Angeles, we have some of the best doctors in the world, they must know what's wrong with her. But nothing was diagnosed as epilepsy. Dr. Oren Devinsky, who is a dear friend, made the diagnosis, epilepsy. He prescribed the right medication and therapy, she has not had a seizure in eight years.